socket io is used for real time communication between client and server you can use for creating real time chat apps or real time multiplayer games in this video we will use socket io to show new jobs as soon as they are posted on job listing page so candidates do not have to reload the page every few seconds to see if there is any new job available we will also use node.js to achieve this so let's get started so this is the job listing page where we are displaying all posted jobs as soon as a recruiter posts a job we need to prepend that new job here and this is the page from where recruiter can post the job first we need to download socket io library so google download socket io and go to this link you can download it from here I will mention this link in the description too. Download it. Now paste it in your project's public folder. I am pasting it inside public JS folder. Now we need to include in our header file. Once included, you can refresh the page to check for errors. If there is any error, it will be displayed in console tab. So now once someone posts a job, we need to emit an event. Emit means sending an event to the Node.js server. So in our jobs create.php, first we will connect socket IO. Here we will enter our server path. I will create this tiny node.js project in a moment. Now once a job is posted, we will emit the event. First argument will be the name of event and second will be the data passed to that event. We will be sending the newly created job in the event. We will be getting it from response of jobs create API. So let's go to the job controller create method Here once the job is created, we are getting the job ID. We can fetch the job detail using its ID. In our jobs model, we already have a function to fetch the job details. So we will simply load the function and call this method. And pass the job ID in it. It will return the job object. We will send it in the response. and it will be emitted in the socket io event now in our job listing page we need to listen to that event so go to your jobs listing.php here we will connect the socket like we did before and here we will listen to that event Once the event is received, it will have a job object. We will use the my app object, which is a Vue.js object. And with it, we will access the jobs array that holds all the jobs that are being displayed and prevent the job that is received from the event. And this object might be null if the event is called before the view app is loaded. So we will put the null check on top of it. and we will also increment count variable by one. Now we need to create a node.js project that will listen to these events and also emit them. So create a folder in your project. I am naming it node and open command prompt or terminal in this folder and install express http and socket io in it. You also need to install node daemon. This will automatically restart the server if there is any change in it. 
and then we will start the server so we need to create the index file first so go ahead and create index.js in dot folder in this file first include express and create an instance from it then create an http server from that instance include socket io library and if you face course error you can simply bypass it by doing this now we need to set our port if you are working on a production environment then we will get the port whatever the whatever is provided by your cloud environment otherwise we will use port number 3000 then we will start the http server at that port once server started we will show a message in terminal we will show another message once a, once a socket connection is established this will pass the each user's unique socket object in the function this will be called whenever the io function is called from client side now whenever a client emits an event the server will listen it and broadcast it by broadcast it means that it will send the event to all the other clients except the one who sent it so all candidates will be able to listen to that event and pass the job object as it receives so we are all ready to test it split the screens in two candidate side will be on left and recruiter side will be on right refresh both sides Now you will see as soon as recruiter posts the job, it will automatically start displaying on candidate side without having to refresh the page. So it has been displayed and the job counter has been incremented as well. Now one more thing you can do is to make your node.js url a global because it will be used on multiple pages. So we will make this url global. So go to your system config.php and add another variable. And here we will paste the node.js url. Now we will create a hidden input field in our header file that will hold this value. Then get this input field value in JavaScript. This is an easiest way to get the PHP variable value in JavaScript. Now we will use this JavaScript global variable in job listing and in jobs create file. Refresh the page to see if it's working. So no error means everything is fine. You can check if you change the value from your PHP code, it will start sending error. Because it didn't find the server that is running at port 3001. So change it back to 3000. And for better security, you should not use wildcard operator in your Node.js socket IO object. It's better if you write your server base path or your website address if you are on a production environment. It will be an array. So now it will allow request only those websites that are mentioned in this array. So that's it.
this was a new feature in job portal website i will mention the project link in the description of this video you can buy it and use it for many purposes for example if you want to launch your own job portal website like indeed.com or if you want to learn real world examples of php and mysql projects or how mvc architecture works so that's it if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section below